GTA 3D Definitive Edition has 29 achievements on PC, 29 achievements on the PlayStation consoles and 28 achievements on the Xbox consoles. In this video, I'll show you how I can collect them all in one single save game. It will not take you more than 20 hours to get your trophy and your bragging rights after collecting all achievements, so good luck. You can skip to a particular part of this video for an achievement you have troubles with. Timestamps are in the description. So, let's start with the first one. And welcome guys to GTA 3, the first achievement I'm gonna do is disposing of evidence which involves going to the crane and crushing a car. Okay, so since I'm currently on a mission, this is the first mission, I can't crush this car because I'll fail it. What I'll do is crush this car which is located at the junkyard, which is located here on the map. Just park your truck over here, wait for this to lift. And here we go, first achievement is complete disposing of evidence. Let's go for the second achievement. Which will be first day on the job in which we have to complete the first mission in the game, Luigi's Girls. So first part is done, we have to park here, watch this cutscene and go for the other cutscene. And that one is here, this officially starts Luigi's Girls. As you see, Luigi's Girls, let's complete this mission. Just drop off Misty and the mission is complete and you get your achievement. As easy as that. Okay, achievement number 3 is Liberty City Minute, I have to survive at 10 HP or less in a whole minute. The best way of course is to crash your car a bunch of times, stand right next to it and... Kablamo, oh I need more damage, okay the way to get more damage is to jump off a building a few times. Okay, so here's a staircase, what I'll do is I'll jump off a few times. It does 2 damage each time, so I have to repeat this. Okay, here's 10 HP, let's make it... let's make it 8 HP, just in case. Okay, I have... oh, 7, okay, I have 7 HP. I'll just stand here for a minute and I'll get the achievement. And here we go, achievement unlocked. It took a little more than a minute, so don't panic if it doesn't show up immediately, but... Yeah, achievement number 3 is done. Okay, so for achievement number 4 I'm gonna need some health, so what I'll do is go to the hospital, pick up the health, and afterwards pick up the sledgehammer which is at my uh, my house, my safe house. Here it is, this is your safe house, it's on the map so you can't miss it of course, pick up the sledgehammer or the bat I guess, and go to a specific location which is right over here, so the, the reason why I'm picking this location is because these guys don't have guns. You can punch them twice like this, they fall down, and you kill them with two shots. You gotta do this 25 times, and if you get damaged, there's health right over here. Also, if this is not enough, you can just wait for an ambulance to come, and the ambulance is gonna heal these guys, and uh, it's gonna provide you more people to kill, and you can heal from the ambulance too. So this is why you should do this uh, achievement right over here. Let's go, 25. And here's the ambulance. Ah, there we go. Mission complete or achievement gotten. 25 gang members with a fist or with a bat. Let's move on to the next achievement. Which is Street Sweeper, which means we have to waste a hundred gang members. You can do it with this, so you can stay here and do it like four more times, the same thing. Or you can go to a rampage. Which is gonna make things much 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 easier. So first of all pick up some health and some armor because it's gonna help you definitely. And the armor is right here. So let's go to a rampage location. Okay so this one right here next to Luigi's club is a very good rampage. You gotta kill 30 Diablos in 2 minutes is that? Yeah 2 minutes. So what you can do is just shoot. It's a great weapon. And of course if you die, if you get shot too much, you can just uh, respawn and do it again. Okay, so I'll fail this on purpose, so I can restart it. It's not gonna spawn in this location after you fail a mission, a rampage I should say. It spawns in a different location, and this one specifically, as you see, 
It's not here. It's right here next to the Callahan Bridge. So I'll take it again. I'll get like 20, 25, 29 kills and I'll restart it from the first location and I'll get 100 kills. Okay, here we go. Fail again. Let's move on to the next location. As you see, it's not here anymore. It's in the first location. Okay, one more fail and the next one should get me the achievement. There we go, a hundred gang members with any weapon you desire. You can use your fists or any weapon. Alright, the next achievement is called Reckless Driving. You have to perform an insane stunt. The best way to do that is with a fast car, of course. Pick up this banshee from the first shop and then go to this stunt right over here. So this stunt is perfect because you do you, you get lots of air and once you do, he's gonna give you the insane stun bonus. So let's watch. And bam, stunt. If it doesn't happen the first time, do it again. You need a little a little bounce. Once you bounce a bit, he's gonna give it to you. It has to be a perfect insane stunt. Is this perfect? Yeah, honestly, I don't see how the first one was different to this one, but okay, it's a perfect insane stunt. I got the achievement. The next one is Escape Artist. You have to collect 50 Bribe Stars. We have many in the in the map, so what I'm gonna do is I'll pick up a weapon and get the police attention. So first I'll get two, maybe three stars by running over people. The unfortunate thing is with the Definitive Edition is that sometimes these guys are solid, so you do take massive amount of damage if they're solid. So, got two stars. And I'll go to the first location, which is right over here. And collected. 1 out of 20 is collected. Okay, here's 2 stars again. And this is the second bribe location. Here we go. 2. Complete. Okay, and this is the third one I'm gonna use. So what you can do is, if it disappears currently, what you can do is use your gun to kill a person. To maintain it. This is why I picked up a gun, collect it, and we have three. So what I'll do now is go to my safe house, save the game, and these are gonna respawn. Let's save the game a bunch of times, and the stuff is gonna respawn. And we have to repeat this process many, many, many times. And here it is, number 20, which is gonna give me the achievement. There we go, achievement gotten. Escape artist. Very good. Next achievement, let's go! Okay, the next achievement is called Splish Splash. You have to extinguish 15 fires anywhere in one single mission. So, go here at the fire station, activate the mission, and you have to extinguish 50, 15 fires before the timer runs out. Here we go, one fire, let's go for 15! And here we go, 15! Fires extinguished in a single mission. An achievement is accomplished. And here it is, guys. A very difficult and annoying one, which is called Playing Doctor. You have to beat Paramedic level 12. So go over here to the hospital, get the Paramedic mission, start a Paramedic mission, and complete 12 levels in a row. Which is very difficult to do. Annoying to do, too. Take down your doors if you want to. It's gonna simplify things and get the patients. This could take you a long time and it's best done at the beginning of the game. This is why you should do it before passing any missions, because gangs don't hate you. And guys, this is it. Level 12 is complete. It took me like maybe an hour <laughs> to complete, but it's done. 12, an achievement. Playing Doctor is unlocked. I did it, guys. Whew. Okay. Okay, the next achievement is very annoying to do, not difficult, but annoying. It's called Where To. You have to complete a hundred fairs. Not in a row, you have to just complete a hundred fairs in the game. To do that, get yourself a taxi and pick up a hundred patients and take them to their destination. This could take you an hour, two hours, it depends. So, let's go. A hundred fairs. 
And there we go guys, a hundred fares, not in a row unfortunately, but this shows that you don't have to do it in a row. If you want to get more cash, do it in a row, but you don't have to. Okay guys, it's time for mission achievements. The first one I'm gonna do is got this figured out. It's a hidden achievement and what you gotta do is start a mission the first bow, get a coach and get eight people in the coach. Every person you gotta pick up, it has to be in a coach. Okay, I'm about to start the first bow and what you have to do is go here, pick up a coach. This is the location for the coach, a spawn location. Pick up one and go to the mission start. Okay, coach is ready, mission is ready, let's start the first bow and pick up all 8 prostitutes at once in a single coach at the same time. So let's start, we have 5 minutes so, so we should be able to do it. And here's the last one, I have a minute and a half to spare so I should be good. Let's drive to the pink marker and here we go. Eight girls at the same time and I got the achievement. The mission is not even done yet. This was the last Luigi mission. The first Joy mission also has an achievement, which is called Without a Scratch. It's a hidden achievement in which you gotta deliver a car without a scratch. Basically, don't use pay and spray. If you don't use pay and spray in this mission, you can complete the mission. Okay, so the mission is called My Clips Last Lunch. Let's go to the location. We have six minutes to do this mission. Okay, so basically pick up this car and don't crash into anything. Don't use pen spray and you can get your achievement. Also, as you're going to the garage, make sure not to crash into pedestrians because pedestrians can be solid in the definitive edition. It's an issue, but it's not such a big issue it, because we have lots of time. But again, if you want achievement, you have to not touch anybody and don't go to pen spray. So get to the garage. You have, you're gonna have like four minutes, four and a half minutes to get back. Okay, here we go, a police officer move, you have to park, activate the bomb and get out of here as easy as that. Just make sure you do it on the first attempt. If you fail the mission and restart it, you, it can't be done. No damage throughout the mission, first attempt. Mission complete, achievement gotten and that's it. The next achievement is called Plant Ahead. What you gotta do is start the mission first of all. It's called Farewell Chinkily Chonk. You gotta pick up a car, his car, put a bomb in the car and bring it back. Once you trigger him, he's gonna run to the car, get into it and explode with the bomb. That's the whole point of this achievement. So let's do it. And here's the car. He draws a perennial. It's located right over here. This is Chunky. Chunk, you can see him. Take the car first. Put a bomb into it. This is the location of the bomb garage. Place a bomb in the car. And drive back. Okay, car is placed here. Exit out. He has two spawn locations for a car. This is the second one. If you do it on that one, you're gonna come from this side. If you do, he's gonna spring to the previous one you did, the previous one you you wrecked with a bomb, just chase him and he'll hop into it and of course explode, just make sure not to die yourself of course. And achievement gotten, not too difficult, you shouldn't have too many issues. The next achievement is called by a mile and for that you have to unlock the Turismo mission and complete it in 180 seconds. To do that you have to complete Van Heist, which was this mission. After Van Heist something should pop up on the screen which unlocks the Payphone missions. As you can see Payphone missions are unlocked, so let's start the first mission which is called Turismo. So since the mission is a race, what you should do is get yourself a very fast vehicle, which is the Banshee which is located in this garage. So pick it up and start the mission. To do it faster, what you can do is crash into these people. It starts immediately. If you want, you can also despawn traffic by doing this. This despawns traffic. If there's too much traffic in front of you, you can just do this. And also do this mission before last requests, which is the last uh, important mission. Because if you don't, you're gonna get killed in this area. St. Mark's Bistro is a nightmare 
to go through. Because these people have shotguns, they shoot you, the mafia guys, so do it before last request. And here we go, mission is complete, less than 180 seconds. Good finish, <laughs> good finish, but I got the achievements by a mile. It's a pretty cool achievement, pretty easy to do with a banshee, so get yourself a banshee. Ooh. Why? Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, I also got... Uh... Oh! Okay, so Dianka also gave me a different achievement. <laughs> I just got this ranking. Criminal rank ranking of 2500 is a different achievement. I just got it for some reason. You get this achievement just by playing the game, so I don't focus on it specifically. But I just got it by just playing the game, so after you play a bunch, you're gonna get the achievement. The next achievement involves the Vigilante mission. To do it the most efficient way, I suggest getting an Uzi. To get an Uzi at Emanation, you gotta complete this mission, which is called Sipani Shofir. After you complete this mission, you get an Uzi at Emanation. And you can kill 15 criminals in a single go. Okay, Cyprani Shofir is complete. After you do, you get a pager message which tells that you unlocked the Uzi at the place. So since we gotta kill a bunch of criminals in a in a row, I suggest purchasing a lot of bullets. 2,000, 3,000 bullets should be enough. You have a lot of cash, so you can spare a few hundred thousand even for Uzi ammo because you're gonna shoot from the car. Shooting from, from the car is the easiest, in my opinion. Okay, this should be enough. Almost 3000 for the Uzi, which we're gonna use for Vigilante. So let's pick up a police car. The police car is located over here. Sometimes this could be locked if it's locked. Pick up that one. If that, if that one is locked, pick up uh, one from the street. Start a mission and get to the first suspect. What you need to do is shoot from your car. Luckily in the Definitive Edition you don't have to look to the side, you can just move your camera a bit and shoot to the side. Now you cannot use the special trick from the original version, which is to pause and unpause. This does not work here. What you have to do is actually shoot, which makes this much more difficult. Okay, try number two. Here it begins. Shoot the truck. Which could be tricky again. It's a tricky mission. Sometimes they could get stuck and they get out. And when they do, you can just do this. Yes. Took a while, but I got it. Oh, what? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> what was this? Second villain. Third victim. The next one. This was easy. Explode. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. Pit maneuver. Perfect. That's how you pit maneuver, guys. Yep. Perfect. Very fast car. The cheetah is no joke. Cablemo. You can pick up the weapons too if you want to. If your car is too damaged, you can change the vehicle to a different police car. You have 60 seconds to switch. Inferno speed maneuver. And next kill. <laughs> yeah, get in, get in, yeah, sure. <laughs> Suspect. Suspect dead. It was a slow vehicle. And Mr. OP person is dead too. Taxi man stopped. Taxi girl, I should say. Stopped. I have three stars. Not so good. <laughs> ah, so close. And suspect is clear. Uh, suspect is clear. I got the achievement. Going rogue again. You can do this now. At the start of the game, before <clears throat> the the gangs hate you with a police car, or you could do it later with a tank. The first one is called Mob Boss, it's a hidden achievement, 
and in this mission you get two bodyguards. The point of this achievement is to keep these two bodyguards alive throughout the whole mission. These two knuckleheads have to be kept alive the whole mission. We gotta kill three drug lords or whatever they're called. The first one is pretty easy to kill. What you do is just run him over. That's the first guy done. The second guy is easy. Just park your car right over here. Make sure you have a, an AK which you should have picked up before. If you have followed this guy so far. And shoot him from a distance. And he's done. The last guy is difficult. So let's go. Always leave this guy for last. So this is the noodle place. Park your car. I like this. And shoot from a distance as quick as possible. If you do, you get the achievement. I got mob balls. The next achievement is called a marked man. And what you have to do is complete last request. That's the only requirement for this achievement. Complete this mission and you get the achievement. Just park the boat, skip the cutscenes, and you get the achievement as easy as that. Welcome to Stolton Island. Let's do some more achievements. The next achievement is called a gift from the king and it involves this guy, King Courtney. You have to beat all his missions, beating his last mission gives you this achievement. Alright, so I passed three missions. This last one, Kingdom Come, after I beat this mission, I'll get the achievement. So let's do it. Yep, just beat the mission. Explode the guys and you get the achievement as easy as that. The next achievement is called Dirty Money. For this achievement what you gotta do is get a million bucks. So what you gotta do for this mission is just play the game. Each mission gives you money and after I beat this mission I'll have a million. So let's go. Mission passed, I got Dirty Money and I have a million dollars. Awesome. The next achievement is called Offshore Delivery. You have to complete this mission, which is a drop in the ocean, which also unlocks Shoreside, the only last talent in the game. So complete this mission and you get the achievement. Okay, mission complete. And achievement is gotten. Offshore Delivery. Pretty easy mission. This gives us access to the next island. The first achievement I'll do after unlocking all the islands is wheels up, which means I have to do all 20 unique stun jumps. In all islands, I waited for this moment to do them all because everything is unlocked and it's much easier to do them. So let's start with the first one and do 20 total. Okay, I have done 19 stun jumps. This is the 20th one, last stun jump. After I beat it, I'm gonna get the achievement. I have a guide on stun jumps you can use if you want to. There we go. Liberty City Secrets, which involves collecting all a hundred hidden packages across the whole map. All the hidden packages have to be collected for this achievement. So let's start with the first package. Okay guys, after about an hour I have collected 99 packages and after collecting this one I'll get the achievement. Liberty City Secrets, this took forever. It's a pretty crappy achievement you gotta do, but you gotta do it for 100% anyway because we have 100% achievements too. Achievement 2. So let's go with the next one. And with this I can do Furious First Responder which involves passing paramedic, firefighter and vigilante. For vigilante I'll use the weapons here. As you recall I did paramedic for a previous achievement. I also did part of firefighter and part of vigilante. I gotta do 20 on each island. 20 criminals I have to kill on each island. And also 20 fires on each island. I have done it on Portland. So let's do it on Shortsville and Stoughton Island too. Okay, like I said, the first part of the achievement is done. The paramedic. The second part is done. Which is the firefighter part. I gotta extinguish 20 fires on each island. I did it on Portland, Stoughton and Shortside Vale. And with this I completed all the missions. Paramedic, Vigilante and Firefighter. 20 on each island for Firefighter and Vigilante. And Paramedic I did in Portland. With this we unlocked
every single weapon at our safe house, from the packages and from firefighter, which helps us unlock or get the full artillery um, achievement, which involves picking up every single weapon and firing a bullet or throwing a grenade, as you can see. Do this with every single weapon and you get the next achievement. Plop. The Molotovs. I'm pretty sure the Molotovs is the last one I haven't thrown. Yeah, here we go. I got full artillery. Every single weapon I have fired, I used some in um, Rampages. The next achievement is called Man Toys, which involves passing every single RC Toys mission. We have four, two in Portland, one in Stoughton Island, and one in Short Side Veo. So let's start with the first one. What you gotta do is enter one of these vehicles, which is gonna start the mission and you gotta explode cars and all four are complete last one and I got man toys we have three more achievements to go let's do them the next achievement is called not so fast you gotta beat the game basically beat the last mission in the game which is called the exchange which starts from here and you get the achievement so let's go and here we go, just meet Maria, skip the cutscene and you get the achievement not so fast. Ok guys, here's the last two achievements in the game, they're called Is That All You Got? which involves getting 100% completion in the entire game and also King of Liberty City. King of Liberty City is given to you after you unlock all achievements. So. After you get 100%, which involves everything in the game, I have a checklist guide on YouTube. Check it out for the requirements. After you do, you get these two achievements. So let's go. We got the two achievements. Here we go, guys. We got Is That All You Got? and King of Liberty City. There we go. All achievements are gotten. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Hope it helped you. Again, check the 100% checklist video on YouTube. Thank you for watching and a very special thank you to Olavi Likanian, Case Knight, Munish Parip, Sep Levy, Epic Elev, Shin Tay, Max Rich, Clint McCurry, Dark Mount, Jacob Madley, Max Robinson, Jim Francescos, and everybody else.